Okay, PC Games Girl here, and hello and welcome to part number one of my Let's Play of Dragon Age Inquisition. Alright guys, so, a couple things I want to let you know really quickly. First of all, I am going to be playing with a custom world state. If you have not seen the video that I posted recently regarding the Dragon Age Keep, then I recommend you go see that if you are interested in what the world state is that I will be playing with. Wah! And secondly, I have two other characters, one of whom I've played through the entire game, and that is my Dalish elven archer, whose name is Felina, and both my characters are female, and this one will be as well. <laughs> and my archer I've gone through the entire game with, including the DLC, and I completed all of it, including Trespasser. <laughs> oh, Trespasser! And my other character that I've played with is a human warrior. Now in this let's play, I'm going to be playing a Dalish elven mage. I have limited experience with playing a mage, so if you guys have any advice for me, feel free to give it to me. <laughs> feel free to leave me suggestions for mages in Dragon Age Inquisition in the comments section if you feel so inclined. Alright, now. I'm going to read about each of the races really quick before I actually create my character. Humans are the most numerous and powerful race in Thetis. They are also the most divided politically and seem to thirst for conflict. Human characters receive a bonus ability point at the start of the game. And for those who don't know what Thetis is, that's just the name of the world. Elf. Elves are, are a historically oppressed people distinguishable by their lithe frames and pointed ears. Though most survive in the poorest fringes of human cities, others live as nomads known as the Dalish. Elves receive a bonus of 25% to ranged defense. Blech. And in case I sound it all off, it's because it's 1am, but I'm doing this anyway because I really want to. <laughs> Dwarves are short, stocky, and most spend their entire lives underground. Those exiled to the surface are often merchants or smugglers. Because dwarves have no connection to the Fade, they cannot be mages, but receive a 25% bonus to magic defense. And for those unfamiliar with the Dragon Age universe, the Fade is basically the supernatural realm where mages draw most of their power from. And the Kunari. The Kunari are a race of horned giants who follow a strict religious text known as the Kun. Those who have abandoned its principles are known as Talvashoth and often work as mercenaries. Kunari characters get a bonus plus 10% physical damage resistance. Okay. Elf. And then what my main character Felina is, she's a rogue archer, you can read about that there if you'd like to. And Marion, my human warrior, is a weapon and shield warrior, if you want go ahead and read that. And this character is going to be a mage. Mages channel magical power into spells capable of a wide range of effects from debilitating opponents, protecting allies, or unleashing devastating elemental energy. Those who wield magic are widely feared for their abilities, and their rebellion against Chantry control has left the land in chaos. Okay, and I'm going to have it on normal difficulty, but there's casual, normal, hard, nightmare, and custom. What? Since when has there been custom? That, that's a new thing. I didn't know about that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going on normal, though. Yay! My character summary is a Dalish apprentice. Enslaved long ago by humans, most elves still live as second-class citizens within human cities. Elves who reject this life are known as the Dalish, nomadic wanderers who strive to keep the ancient elven religion and traditions alive. You grew up in the wilderness, a member of the Lavellan Dalish clan and apprentice to its leader and guide, the Keeper. The clan wandered the northern free marches and you had little need to interact with humans, until the Keeper sent you to the Chantry's conclave as a spy. What happened there, she said, would impact not only the Dalish, but indeed all elves. She could not have known how right she was. <laughs> Amen to that, having played through this before. Alright guys, so I'm going to be back as soon as I have created my character, because knowing me, that will take a long while. <laughs> so yeah, I will be right back. Okay guys, so after around half an hour, <laughs> I present you with our Dalish elven mage woman, and here's her voice. 
As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. Oh, yes. Okay. And just for some context here, for those who do not know much about the Dragon Age universe, because some people watching this may not, I don't know. The tattoos on her face are there because she's Dalish. Dalish elves have those kind of markings on their face. They have um, tattoos representative of their gods. And the particular ones that this character has are representative of the goddess Mithal. And um, these are called Valisleen. So whenever I'm talking about Valisleen or anyone else's, they're just talking about the tattoos that Dalish elves have. Now, here is her voice. How much is this going to cost me exactly? Okay. And I accept this, and her name is not going to be Alana. Nope, 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 nope. I am going to name her Adari, which is a name I found on a Dalish elf name generator. <laughs> and I thought it worked really well. And here we go. Oh, yes. And just so that you guys know, I'm not going to talk much at all, if at all, during the cutscenes. Just because I don't want you guys to miss out on any of the dialogue, because that really is the heart of this game, is its dialogue. So, yeah, I'm not going to talk much when there's cutscenes. So, if I'm quiet for a while, I'm still here, guys, I promise. But, <laughs> that's just a general rule of thumb in this LP, is that I'm not going to say much during cutscenes. Except at the moment, because no one's talking. <laughs> oh man. Run, Adari, run! Run! Reach further, Adari! You can do it! Almost there. Oh man. Oh no, she's... She collapsed. Oh gosh. Adari! Adari, are you okay? Oh man. We're gonna find out in a minute, guys. We're gonna find out in a minute. I'm so excited! I don't know about you guys! Even though it's really late for me right now, that's okay! I'm still pumped! <laughs> because I'm completely obsessed with this game and I love it, so yeah. Oh yeah, and this is a very dialogue-heavy game, so... Yeah. <laughs> for those who didn't already know that, now you know. Oh dear. Well, this is already looking not so good. Her hand! Tell me why we shouldn't kill you now. The Conclave is destroyed. Everyone who attended is dead. Except for you. Oh man. Let's see, which option should I pick? Uh, I haven't fully decided what kind of personality I want her to have, but... Well, we're going with number two. You think I'm responsible? Explain this. I can't. What do you mean you can't? I don't know what that is or how it got there. You're lying. We need her, Cassandra. Oh, man. Uh... I don't understand. Do you remember what happened? How this began? I remember... Running. Things were chasing me, and then... A woman? A woman? She reached out to me, but then... Go to the forward camp, Liliana. I will take her to the rift. <laughs> what did happen? It... Will be easier to show you. Oh man.
We call it the Breach. It's a massive rift into the world of demons that grows larger with each passing hour. It's not the only such rift, just the largest. All were caused by the explosion at the Conclave. An explosion can do that? This one did. Unless we act, the Breach may grow until it swallows the world. Each time the breach expands, your mark spreads, and it is killing you. It may be the key to stopping this, but there isn't much time. Uh, number four. You say it may be the key. To doing what? Closing the breach. Whether that's possible is something we shall discover shortly. It is our only chance, however. And yours. You still think I did this? To myself? Not intentionally. Something clearly went wrong. And if I'm not responsible? Someone is, and you are our only suspect. You wish to prove your innocence? This is the only way. All right, Cassandra. Well, if I can help, I will. I understand. Then I'll do what I can, whatever it takes. Oh, and you may have noticed the Cassandra approves thing over there. There's an approval system in the game. You can make characters approve or disapprove of you based on what you say and what you do. It's awesome. I love it. <laughs> they have decided your guilt. They need it. The people of Haven mourn our most holy, divine Justinia, head of the Chantry. The Conclave was hers. It was a chance for peace between mages and Templars. She brought their leaders together. Now they are dead. We lash out like the sky, but we must think beyond ourselves, as she did. Until the breach is sealed. There will be a trial. I can promise no more. Come. It is not far. Where are you taking me? Your mark must be tested on something smaller than the breach. Yay, movement. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to make a new save file for this. All things in this world are finite. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Open the gate. We are heading into the valley. Yes, the little eye icon on the compass indicates your quest destination. Which is right there, as you guys can tell. Do do do, access the quest map, blah blah blah. Yes, by pressing M, I know. I know, game. It may look like it, but, you know, it's not quite the end of the world. Um, sort of, maybe? Okay, well, it totally looks like it. Uh, this is why I volunteered to help, mostly. The pulses are coming faster now. Oh. The larger the breach grows, the more rifts appear, the more demons we face. How did I survive the blast? They said you stepped out of a rift, then fell unconscious. They say a woman was in the rift behind you. No one knows who she was. Everything farther in the valley was laid waste, including the Temple of Sacred Ashes. I suppose you'll see soon enough. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ah! Oh, that was loud. Okay. And that looked really painful. Oh, dear. Oh crap, demons! Demons! Demons, stay behind me! Uh, will do, Cassandra. Oh wait! There's a handy staff just waiting for me! <laughs> what the heck? I love it. Okay. Ah! Demon! Oh no. Demon popping up out of the ground. This is bad. Basic attack. Press R or left mouse button to attack. 
One thing I don't like about mages is that they can't attack while moving, whereas the other classes, the warriors and the rogues, can attack while moving, whereas mages apparently have to stay still in order to cast their spells, which kind of sucks, but they have a further range than the other two classes, so it evens out. It's over. Drop your weapon. Now! Okay. This is a special option just simply because she's a mage. Um... I need the weapon. A demon attacked me. What was I supposed to do? You don't need to fight. Are you saying it won't happen again? <sighs> You're right. You don't need a staff. But you should have one. I cannot protect you. Thank you, Cassandra. I should remember you agreed to come willingly. Yes, yes I did. That I did. Ooh, potions, yay. Those are handy. Take these potions. Maker knows what we will face. Okay, I just pressed I for inventory after looting that dead person. May they rest in peace. Uh -huh. And I'm putting on that Templar scribe cowl. And I have no money. Yay. Where are all your soldiers? At the forward camp or fighting. We are on our own for now. Okay, and I just switched which order my skills were in. Oh, I can't switch to Cassandra yet. Dang it! Okay. Woo! Yes, I know about mana. There! Watch out! Money! If we flank them, we may gain the advantage. We may. Ah. Die, 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 die! Sandra got down there, right? Yes, yeah, she did. She's right there. Okay, good. Phew! Die! Die, shade! Die! Die, die, die! Okay. We good here? We good. Is there anything else over in this general vicinity that I can grab, loot-wise? In case anyone doesn't know, I'm pressing V in order to search. And I'm doing this a lot because I don't cheat when I play this game at all. Oh god, did I get stuck already? Did I seriously get stuck? How did I manage that? <laughs> I've never managed that before! Oh my god. Ooh, more money. And my obsession in this game, Elfroot. I'm always going around collecting every bit of elf root I possibly can find because it is very useful for healing potions. <laughs> oh gosh. So yeah, don't mind me when I go looking for tons of elf root and pick up every last bit of it I can find. Don't mind me. Yeah. Up on the hill. It attacks from a distance. I've noticed, Cassandra. Die! And in case you guys are wondering why I sent the fire after the other one that panicked it so that it would leave us alone. So that we would, uh, not have to deal with both of them at once, basically. Yeah. So I do know something of playing mages, because I have played them very briefly before. And with my other characters, I've switched over to my mages when necessary. So, I have... because you can control all the characters in your party. But yeah, I have limited experience with mages, but ah, I have some. They're falling from the breach. Ah. Okay, attack the other one. There we go. I attacked both of them with my chain lightning. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah. Die! 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 Yay! Okay. We good. <laughs> Are we good, Cassandra? We safe? For the moment? Crap. Okay, uh... Yay, I got all three of them! Ah! ah! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone! Oh crap, it's coming after me now! Ah! Cass, help! Cassandra! Help! I am squishy! <laughs> Save me! <laughs> Sandra, I am squishy. <laughs> Don't let me die, Cassandra. Yes. Okay. Phew. 
Oh man. And I plan to make her not necessarily specialize in any one particular area. But I do plan to, as far as like, I don't plan to have her be like fully a fire mage or anything like that. We're getting close to the rift. You can hear the fighting. Who's fighting? You'll see soon. We must help them. Yes, we must, because I love them. <laughs> but anyway, um, I plan to have her have some skills from each of the different ones. Basically, I'm gonna make her do whatever she needs to do. And be able to do whatever I want her to. Ah! But she's going to mainly focus on dealing damage, whereas I'm going to be having um, another one of my characters that you can control be a support mage. Quickly! Before more come through! Namely him. <laughs> What did you do? I did nothing. The credit is yours. You mean this? Whatever magic opened the breach in the sky also placed that mark upon your hand. I theorized the mark might be able to close the rifts that have opened in the breach's wake. And it seems I was correct. Meaning it could also close the breach itself? Possibly. It seems you hold the key to our salvation. <laughs> Good to know. Here I thought we'd be ass deep in demons forever. <laughs> oh my. Varric Tethras. Rogue, storyteller, and occasionally unwelcome tag along. <laughs> oh gosh, I love I love the banter between those two. You guys will see soon enough. Are you with the Chantry or <laughs> Was that a serious question? Technically I'm a prisoner, just like you. I brought you here to tell your story to the Divine. Clearly, that is no longer necessary. Yet, here I am. Lucky for you, considering current events. It's good to meet you, Varric. You may reconsider that stance in time. <laughs> oh, I'm sure we'll become great friends in the Valley, Chuckles. <laughs> Absolutely not. Your help is appreciated, Varric, but- Have you been in the valley lately, Seeker? Your soldiers aren't in control anymore. You need me. <laughs> that grin. Ugh. <laughs> My name is Solus, if there are to be introductions. I am pleased to see you still live. <laughs> he means I kept that mark from killing you while you slept. Oh, man. Just so you all know now, Solus is my favorite. <laughs> Then I owe you my thanks. Thank me if we manage to close the breach without killing you in the process. Cassandra, you should know. The magic involved here is unlike any I have seen. Your prisoner is a mage, but I find it difficult to imagine any mage having such power. Understood. We must get to the forward camp quickly. Well... Bianca's excited. <laughs> For those who don't know, Bianca is Varric's crossbow, so yeah. <laughs> oh my. This way, down the bank. The road ahead is blocked. We must move quickly. Okay. That we will do, that we will do. Yes, to control other party members, F1, 2, 3, and 4. Do, 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 or I can just click on them. Like that, and now I'm controlling Cass. Glad you brought me now, Seeker. Oh boy. Wait, I need to stand closer to them because it's gonna do things. Wait, come on. Let's all go over here. It's playing the music. Come on. There we go. Tactical camera. Yes, I know about the tactical camera. Okay, I hope we're all standing close enough to each other. We are. Good. It's all good. Okay, Solus. Yes, area of effect. Solus is going to be our support mage in this playthrough. And, um, basically it's going to be his job to keep us all from dying <laughs> as much as possible. And he's going to put the barrier up, which is just a magical shield, basically. Now, Varric is an archer, obviously, with that crossbow, so he's going to shoot at the demon. Cass is going to run down over there so that she can grab their aggro. And as for me, I'm going to panic that one so that it won't attack me. Okay, which should give Cassandra time to run over to it before it can reach us. There we go. Working well. Wah. 
And I don't go into tactical mode too very often, actually. I usually only do that when we're in a hard fight. Me and my friends is on here. Ugh. Namely, my party. Ugh, I panicked it. Okay, oops. Soul just put a barrier on me. Terrified again. Die, 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 die. Okay, he's dead. Where's the other one? The other one's dead. Yay, they're dead. Good. Phew. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. I will keep that item for later. What is that? Oh! Elf fruit! Hey! <laughs> elf fruit! I love elf fruit. It's so very useful. Okay. And I'm going to save again. Just because I don't want to lose any progress, just in case any so, crashes. Are you innocent? I don't remember what happened. That'll get you every time. Should have spun a story. That's what you would have done. <laughs> it's more believable and less prone to result in premature execution. Okay. Uh so let's put a barrier on all of us, please. Wait a minute, am I even close enough that he's putting it on me as well? Crap. There. Okay, that should get on all of us now, I think. And then, as for me, I'm going to use flash fire on it, and the other two can do what they do. Just panic that one so that I had time to run further away. Oh crap. Ah! Help! I am squishy! Don't let me die! <laughs> I'm kind of more- I'm more used to playing as an archer and as a warrior, because I've been doing that a lot more lately. So, I'm having to, uh, basically remember everything I've been researching recently in order to not play this like a complete nutter noob. So far I'm doing so good. So far so good. Whew. I'm at least playing sort of smart. Animated through all this. She's resourceful, Seeker. We will see for ourselves at the forward camp. We're almost there. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. And I'm only half dead, so that's 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 something. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um. Ah, my hand. Another rift. We must seal it quickly. They keep coming. Help us. Ah! Shoot! Should have panicked these two. Crap. No. Run. <laughs> yes, help. <laughs> Cassandra, help me. <laughs> help me, Cassandra. Please help me. Please help me. Uh. Hurry! Use the mark! Okay, so list, I will. There. Whew. Yay, I'm level two now. The rift is gone. Open the gate. Right away, Lady Cassandra. We are clear for the moment. Well done. Whew. Whatever that thing on your hand is, it's useful. Okay. Now, I have, um, gained a level, as you guys noticed. And I'm going to use it to unlock the skill called Fade Step here. Because that will let me escape quickly when my enemies manage to get on me and, uh, I need a quick getaway. <laughs> <laughs> because I am squishy mage. I may squish. Oh dear. All right, and we've got full potions still, so I'm not going to use the supply cache that was behind us. I am, however, going to give Cassandra the mace that I just looted from that chest, and I'm going to watch the cutscene that is about to happen, and then we are going to end the part right after that cutscene. All right, here we go. With ah, here they come. You made it. Chancellor Roderick, this is... I know who she is. Oh, do you? As Grand Chancellor of the Chantry, I hereby order you to take this criminal to Valroyo to face execution. Hey. Order me? You are a glorified clerk, a bureaucrat. <laughs> And you are a thug, but a thug who supposedly serves the Chantry. We serve the Most Holy, Chancellor. As you well know, 
Justinia is dead! We must elect a replacement and obey her orders on the matter. Oh, man. Isn't closing the breach the more pressing issue? You brought this on us in the first place! Call a retreat, Seeker. Our position here is hopeless. We can stop this before it's too late. How? You won't survive long enough to reach the temple, even with all your soldiers. We must get to the temple. It's the quickest route. But not the safest. Our forces can charge as a distraction while we go through the mountains. We lost contact with an entire squad on that path. It's too risky. Listen to me. Abandon this now, before more lives are lost. How do you think we should proceed? Um. Now you're asking me what I think. You have the mark. And you are the one we must keep alive. Since we cannot agree on our own. Alright, so obviously I've got two choices, charging with the soldiers or taking the mountain path. If we take the mountain path, it's more fast but indirect. Soldiers will act as a distraction elsewhere. The problem will be addressed sooner, but there may be casualties. With charging with the soldiers, careful sustained assault. Soldiers will stand with you to ensure arrival. Scouts in the pass may be lost. I don't want to lose the scouts in the pass, so... Taking the mountain path. Use the mountain path. Work together. You all know what's at stake. Liliana, bring everyone left in the valley. Everyone. On your head be the consequences, Seeker. Oh, and in case anyone was wondering, when it said, like, slightly disapproved or slightly approved or whatever versus approved, a slightly approve or disapprove is one point, approve or disapprove is five points, and greatly approve or disapprove is twenty points. So, yeah. Oh my, it's very snowy. Very cold looking. Oh dear. Oh dear. Load, please, game. Yay! It loaded. What? What did I just say there? It loaded! That's what I meant to say, god. Okay. <laughs> it's 2 a.m. I need to go to bed. Alright, you guys. So, I'm going to be ending this part here. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Please be sure to give this video a like and to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so. And I will be seeing you all in the next video. Bye!